Hello everyone, X Wallkill Bethelite here. Here with another XJW Moot Bag. Uh, this restaurant is called uh, Las Palapas. See, that's Las Palapas there. Got a large Pepsi. We have. Let me get this box open here. Some uh, flautas. I think they call these things flautas. We got we got beef fajita plate. You got the fajita meat, onions, guac, rice, beans. We got some green salsa here. This stuff is a little bit spicy, but we got some of the green salsa. What else do we have here? We got some tortillas. We got, oh, stuff spilling on me. We got chicken taco, chicken soft taco here. With the chicken in there and stuff in there. We got uh, beef taco, soft taco. And we got another Beef soft taco. And what I want to talk a little bit about today is how judgmental Watchtower is. We have to skip the thank Jehovah part. We did thank Jehovah last time. Thank Jehovah from last video has got to count for this video because it takes too long. Food gets cold. So our prayer from last video carries over to this video. So he said our prayer for this too. So I want to talk a little bit about how judgmental uh, Watchtower is. Uh, critical. They're, they're very critical of people. Watchtower is very critical. And I want to use an example of when I was at Bethel. And when I was at Bethel, I didn't have family that had ever been before. I didn't know the Bethel social scene, the social world, the way things worked at Bethel. But I was going so through so much with the racist overseer that I wanted to make sure my spirituality was strong. And that's the reason, one of the reasons why I decided to auxiliary pioneer while at Bethel. But I didn't realize how this would affect the other Bethelites in my congregation. I went to East Poughkeepsie. We had Patterson Bethelites. We had Walk Hill Bethelites. 
If I didn't realize, Watchtower is so judgmental that the other Bethelites in the congregation felt like, well, if he's auxiliary pioneering, that's going to force all of us to auxiliary pioneer. Because if Marcus auxiliary pioneers as a Bethelite, and the other Bethelites are barely getting 10 hours of service, we're going to get judged. We're going to get criticized. Yes, Jehovah's Witnesses are so judgmental. They criticize so much. You already know they criticize every other church. They criticize people so much that just being a Bethelite working for free seven days a week, 40 hours a week, if not more, ain't enough. Marcus Auxiliary Pioneering is making the other Bethelites in the congregation mad because now they got to do it. Otherwise, they're going to get judged for not doing it. So, one of the Bethelites was mad because I didn't tell him. I'm like, why would I have to announce to all the Bethelites that I went to Auxiliary Pioneer? He's like, bro, before you do that, you got to let us know first. So, I kid you not, the next meeting... All kind of other Bethelites signed up to Auxiliary Pioneer. You tell me, anybody that went to East Poughkeepsie, you tell me if other Bethelites was Auxiliary Pioneering like that before I did it. I'm not trying to say I'm better than anybody else. I'm not trying to take credit, but I was the first Bethelite I saw at East Poughkeepsie at that time that Auxiliary Pioneer. Then other people started to do it. Tomatoes. And then this stuff got out at Bethel somehow. Somehow my roommate found out about it because he said something. I was chilling in the room and he had some smart, smart comment about now we got people out here trying to auxiliary pioneer as Bethelites when we are already special full-time servants. <laughs> Obviously, he's talking about me. Man. I was so tired that month. I was so tired. All I did was work. Go out and serve it. But Jehovah's Witnesses are so freaking... Judgmental. They criticize, 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 criticize. Jehovah's Witnesses criticize every other church, but every other church does more for the community than that than they do. And you're not supposed to criticize Jehovah's Witnesses. They don't want you criticizing them. Not There's no do on the others as you want them to do on to you. Criticize Jehovah's Witnesses organization. It's the end of the world. Not only that, I kid you not, while going out in service and stuff like that, I found out because I would go to the nursing home 
I can't get this tomato. Tomato hanging on for dear life. Found out there was a sister at the nursing home. Because I would go in the rooms, offer to read the Bible to people in the nursing home. And uh, one of the nurses there told me, hey, I think one of you guys are, are here. Let me go get her. She'll be happy to see you, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, there was a sister there. Nobody checked on her. Nobody came by and checked on her. She was mad about it. I went over and talked to her. Oh, yeah. She was mad. Nobody came by and talked to her. So I offered to take her to meetings. And lo and behold, she agreed. Lo and behold, she agreed to go to the hall. I'm like, wow. All anybody had to do was just ask her if she wanted to go to a meeting. And she'd go. So that Sunday, they had a wheelchair and everything ready. Or a cane or whatever. And uh, got everything in the car. She hopped in. I didn't have no problems with the nurses home or nothing. We went to we went to the meeting. <laughs> Everybody thought it was such a great thing that I went and not only was I auxiliary pioneer, I was giving a sister that was in a nursing home a ride to meetings. You will not believe what happened. You literally will not believe what happened. One of the Bethelites, one of the senior Bethelites, mind you, he was a Bethel elder, an elder in the congregation. <coughs> Beef taco here literally comes up to me and says, why don't you share the wealth? Hey, let's take turns driving her to meetings. Nobody was thinking about her. These are the same people that after I started as auxiliary pioneering, felt they had to. This dude straight up is like, we need to make a schedule so we can all take her to meetings. Dip some of this sauce in here. I'm like, you guys really are worried the congregation is going to judge you because Marcus is driving somebody to the Kingdom Hall and there ain't no other Bethelites driving no sister from no nursing home to the hall till Marcus does it. Now everybody want to have a daggum schedule. So they can do it too. I can't remember how long she kept going to meetings with me. But that was blatantly wrong. Like,
blatant. I'm gonna try the chicken taco here. Chicken soft taco. That looks pretty good. But Bethelites, it was all a show for the congregation. They felt like they needed to put on a show for the congregation. Otherwise, they're going to be judged. This is unheard of. <laughs> I think I don't like criticism to this day because of growing up a Jehovah's Witness. You grow up a Jehovah's Witness and criticism hits you regardless of what you do. It don't matter what you do. You can be at freaking Bethel. And you got all these people criticizing because of this, that, and the third. When I had car problems, here I am doing all this stuff, working at Bethel, bringing people to the meeting, Auxiliary pioneering. <coughs> but when I had car problems, oh, I'm not spiritual anymore. Because I can't I can't make it to the meeting because I got car problems and my work schedule at the warehouse would have me working late sometimes. Unreal. Ice cold Pepsi. Oh. That is good. Now, as far as the fajita plate, I eat it with a fork. That's how I do it. I don't take time to make a fajita out of one at a time. I don't take time to make a fajita every time. <clears throat> so we take some of the bean, mix that in here. Take some of the rice. They got some peppers in their rice. Guacamole. What we should do, mix it all in there. Mix it all in there. Pour some of that green sauce on top.
So you guys comment down below. Let me know what you think. This is this is real life. I mean, this is this is one of the reasons why I was having so many problems at Bethel is dealing with Bethelites like that. I've never seen a regular JW that blatantly trying to just show off. Well, they'll straight up just try to slow you down. Like, you slow down. Stop doing spiritual things. So the rest of us don't really have to. Now, I'm not going to say every Bethelite. This was a short white guy who was married, had a wife. He's a Bethel elder. Other Bethelites that was there, same time, would know who I'm talking about. I can't say everybody said that. He said that. This is the same guy that went off on the other Bethelite that came in the same time that I did. Went off on him about not paying his $4 for his, his drive to the meeting. That's all onion there. Comment down below, let me know what you think. X Wall Kill Bethelite signing out.